Big up everybody, Wagwan. You are watching your girl, K Shoya, and today I am hosting for Carib Spotlight TV. And we are bringing you an exclusive. We're here at Miss Lily's, you know, downtown Lower Manhattan, West Side, Sullivan Street in Houston. So um, we got an exclusive interview for you today with reggae superstar Tiffa. I'm going to be sitting down and, and, you know, getting into a lot of details with her. So we're going to bring you the exclusive interview. So just sit back and keep watching. Mama na wipe me up, mama na wipe me up, mama na wipe me up, I'm in a park like you. The man na wipe me up, the man na wipe me up, the man na wipe me up, I said the man look more good. The man na wipe me up, I need food name, the man shop ya for him and him run name. The man na wipe me up, the man na wipe me up, the man na wipe me up, I go and done day. Four just touch down a yard Everybody asks why your swag so hard Shut down, large up with the swag record Brave it, hurry up, press the card It's another one, see if it's bring the heat She make sure shoes from the twist of feet I mean I really talk, I'm let my swag asleep Me all the swag in my sleep with my Gucci sheets Chuck, some gas straight boring I got your people yard, but tip it tip touring Lou goo goo, too bad for you Because I'm almost going down like anytime soon My swag is off the meat Yo, my swag is off the chain Why my swag up on ya like a blue touch flame Swag team, tip it tip What we tell them, large up, that come This is not a game all right, everybody, what's going on? What's going on? You are watching Carib Spotlight TV, and I am your host for the day, Kay Shoya, and I'm definitely bringing you an exclusive, exclusive interview right now. I'm, I'm sitting next to the dancehall diva superstar, Tiffa, and right now, you know, we're in lower Manhattan right now, relaxing, enjoying some great food at Miss Lily's, um, you know, just getting into the vibe, and, and she has a lot of new things to talk about, so... We're going to get into all the new and the latest stuff with you. So, say hi to our viewers. Carib Spotlight TV, Tiffa. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's a girl, T-I-F-H, Tiffa, straight out of Kingston, Jamaica, and we're on Carib Spotlight TV with Keisha. And how are the D-E-A? Yes, well, congratulations. I heard that there's a lot of new things that's happening for you. And, um, you know, definitely I would like to start with, with Island King, your new, the new record label that you're, you're signed to. That I'm learning about. So, um, would you like to get into that with our viewers? Um, basically, Island Kings is comprised of persons that used to work within the industry here. They're popular, you know, in the industry. They've worked with like Sony. They've worked with like other other major labels that decided to come together and push my career. And the rest is history. Okay, well, congratulations on the new signing deal. Um, how recently were you you signed? If you don't mind me asking. Um, almost two months now. So it's pretty new. Yeah. And in that space of time, you see that you're doing a lot, like a lot of, you know, mainstream kind of projects and promo and things like that. Um, wow. How did you get signed, pretty much? Um, well, one of they, they, have, they, well, they knew about me before, and I guess, you know, they were, it was just time and opportunity. You know what I mean? I've, I've had, you know, connections with, with one and two of them before, and they were just like, yo, Tifa, it's time. It's time to go. Let's go. Let's get to work. And I was just like, all right. Wow, okay. So I hear that you have a new single right now, and it's called Back It Up. Okay, Back It Up. And um, wow. So this is the first, the first single from the Island Kings project, and um, we're doing really, really well so far in terms of all the mix shows are playing it. Um. We've gone into rotation into one and two other stuff, you know what I mean? We're looking to go into rotation into some others um, on a national digital chart, like Radio Play. I'm at 132 and it's an independent label, you know what I mean? In a 200, last week I was at 157 and we're up to a thousand spins. So um, I'm just really, really happy right now with, with what's happening with Back It Up. We shot the video, the video is getting crazy reviews. I already sent it into Revolt, you know. It's supposed to get features on other major TV stations. We're working on a remix start with a rapper, pop artist, who knows. Within the next two weeks, you'll hear. So we're definitely pushing it. Okay, yeah, I saw the video that's out now, Back It Up. And it does look, it looks very mainstream. You know, I, I like the whole vibe of it. And, and you shot that in Cali, right? 
we shot that in, in Hollywood, so I'm very excited about that. Ben Mark shot the video. Um, he's directed videos for like B.O.B. and Akon and so on and so forth. So it was really good as a dancer artist, you know, to step out of the realms of stuff a little bit and to just take it. So, you know, to view it from somebody else's eyes, from, you know, who's done it on this, on this level, on this market. Well, can you describe, describe Tifa for our viewers a little bit more in detail in your words? What would you say you represent and, and stuff like that and your music and your style and everything? Psycho. I'm kidding, no. <laughs> I'm messing around. Um, Tifa is just a real girl. And a lot of the times I write my own music. So what, whatever you hear is like my thoughts, my feelings. And I tell people all the time, like, I get a lot of inspiration from life, from my friends, from the TV. I write a lot of stuff from Jerry Springer, Murray in the morning, the little ratchet song, them, the meter wine, them, and yeah, them song, they got it like that. Right, then, you know, I watch a lot of TV, I watch, you know, I know, I'd like to know what's happening in the world. So it's basically just life. And I think that's why people gravitate towards me because I'm a real person, I think about real stuff. Before me, everybody was saying, wife, 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 put up a ring finger. But never, nobody never explored it from the matey side. We say, some of the matey them live better life than the wife of them. You know what I mean? So I write about things that happen out there that might be taboo that, you know, people might not necessarily want to talk about, but that are real that people have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. That's basically who Tifa is. Like, she just feelings, words, sound. Yeah. And, um, so what, which artists were your, your inspiration that inspired you or maybe that, you know, before you came out that you looked up to, to... I've seen a lot of artists. I don't have, like, I'll tell you, I don't have a favorite anything. I go through a phase and, like, every six months, it changes. I might like pink, now I might like purple, two weeks down the line. Don't pay me that mind. But, um, a lot. I'd have to say Patra, I'd have to say Lady Sal, Tanya Stevens, Spice, um, Shelly Tonda, Lady G, Macadamon, you name it, you know what I mean? Bob, I'm, I'm Jamaican, I have to say Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, um, Luciano, Bun Tequila, Beanie Man, Five Scouts, El Movado. If, if you're talking on an international level, um, you have to talk about um, anybody from Patti LaBelle to Aretha Franklin to... Right now, I'm into this dude, Sam Smith. I love his voice and disclosure. Um, you name it, like, it's a vast, Mr. Elliot, Lil Kim, you name it. Like, it's a vast, wide, Mary J. Blige. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's definitely a, a lot of history right there, a lot of superstars and stuff like that. Um, so what sets Tiffa apart from the other female dancehall divas in the industry as well? well as I said, I'm, I'm just doing me, you know what I mean? And, and everybody's their own individual, everybody's their own person. And as long as I continue to do me, like, it will always set me apart, you know what I mean? I know a lot of people, they love you, they say you have a, a great personality, you know, which I see for myself, you know. Um, you shine in your music, you, have, you, you come with a lot of new style and stuff like that. Is there any particular artist that you may want to collab with? Anybody as long as your vibe is right, you know what I mean? Because chemistry is everything. You can do a song with a big artist and it don't work. You know what I mean? You can do a song with an upcoming artist and it's shot because you guys have that chemistry. So chemistry and vibe is everything. I'd be willing to work with anybody as long as the vibe is right. For some reason, I, I see you like almost merging or doing like some pop music or something like that or like I just get that vibe from you you know not necessarily but then I'm not I'm not yeah I'm not of course definitely definitely I mean as I said we're working on remixes and stuff like that so definitely it, it would be it would be with a with an international US based artist you know what I mean so definitely because we have to cross those lines we have to bring the dancehall not only to the dancehall massive but to the world because I keep saying dancehall and reggae music is international music you know what I mean? Shaggy sold 10 million records. Sean Paul sold platinum too. You know what I mean? Patra did it. So let's take it back to that place. Why not? And if it means crossing over with another person to kick back down that door again, why not? You know what I mean? So, so what are some things that you like to do in your pastime? Like aside from when you get a, a, a break outside the studio or different things differently from the song and the music? I love to travel. So I get on a plane and go somewhere far. I love the beach. I'm always hanging out at the beach and hanging out with my friends and family. Just regular stuff like regular people. I love to go to theme parks and ride the rides and go on the roller coasters and the crazy stuff like that. But yeah. Okay, okay. That's cool. Okay, so um wow. There's so much thing. I'm just trying to get my thoughts right, man. So would you see yourself like I don't know, this is a little off topic, but would you see yourself like clashing? Like how you see Maca Diamond did it with Lady Saw, you're not into the clashing thing? No, because guess what? If it was a case where we would have clash and then tomorrow everybody good again, no. 
if they have to take things too personal and too deep. We're talking about people, kids, people, family, people, husbands, people. You know what I mean? It's, it's a little bit too deep for me. And I feel like usually when people clash in Jamaica, it's because they're looking for a hype, are looking for attention, are looking for a buzz. I want to be remembered for my music, not because of controversy. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Wow. So, um, can you give us some insight on the headphones deal? I know you got. I don't know too much about the headphones deal, but I know you got uh, something going on with some headphones. What's up with that? Uh, well, I recently merged with Sig Sound is Genius. Um, they've, they've invented a lot of stuff, the telephone watch. The I know a lot of people, they love you. They say you have a, a great personality, you know, which I see for myself, you know. Um, you shine in your music. You, have, you, you come with a lot of new style and stuff like that. Is there any particular artist that you may want to collab with? Anybody as long as your vibe is right, you know what I mean? Because chemistry is everything. You can't do a song with a big artist and it don't work. You know what I mean? You can't do a song with an upcoming artist and it's shot because you guys have that chemistry. So chemistry and vibe is everything. I'd be willing to work with anybody as long as the vibe is right. For some reason, I, I see you like almost merging or doing like some pop music or something like that. Or like, I just get that vibe from you, you know? Not necessarily, but then I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Of course, definitely, definitely. I mean, as I said, we're working on remixes and stuff like that. So definitely, it would, it would be, it would be with a with an international US based artist. You know what I mean? So definitely, because we have to cross those lines. We have to bring the dancehall, not only to dancehall massive, but to the world. Because I keep saying, dancehall and reggae music is international music. You know what I mean? Shaggy sold 10 million records. Sean Paul sold platinum too. You know what I mean? Patra did it. So let's take it back to that place. Why not? And if it means crossing over with another person to kick back down that door again. Why not? You know what I mean? So so what are some things that you like to do in your pastime, like aside from when you get a, a break outside the studio or different things differently from the song and the music? I love to travel. So I get on a plane and go somewhere far. I love the beach. I'm always hanging out at the beach and hanging out with my friends and family. Just regular stuff like regular people. I love to go to theme parks and ride the rides and go on the roller coasters and the crazy stuff like that. But yeah. That's cool. Okay, so um, wow, there's so much thing. I'm just trying to get my thoughts right, man. So, would you see yourself like, I don't know, this is a little off topic, but would you see yourself like clashing, like how you see Maca Diamond did it with Lady Saw? You not into the clashing thing? No, because guess what? If it was a case where would I clash and then tomorrow everybody good again? No. If they have to take things too personal and too deep, they're talking about people, kids. People, family, people, husbands, people, you know what I mean? It's, it's a little bit too deep for me and I feel like usually when people clash in Jamaica, it's because they're looking for a hype, are looking for attention, are looking for a buzz. I want to be remembered for my music, not because of controversy. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Wow, so um, can you give us some insight on the headphones deal? I know you got, I don't know too much about the headphones deal, but I know you got uh, something going on with some headphones. What's up with that? Uh, well, I recently merged with Sig Sound is Genius. Um, they've, they've invented a lot of stuff, the telephone watch, the you name it, stuff for the military or whatever. And I'll be having my own line of headphones coming out at the end of this summer. Um, they'll be carried in Digicel stores, um, earbuds, Bluetooth speakers, studio Bluetooth headphones, regular headphones. Yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Oh, wow, I know the fans, they must really be excited. They're going to go out and get that. Is there a special name to look out for that? It's just a Tifa Sound is Genius. So you name it, stuff for the military or whatever, and I'll be having my own line of headphones coming out the end of this summer. Um, they'll be carried in Digicel stores, um, earbuds, Bluetooth speakers, studio Bluetooth headphones, regular headphones. Yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Oh, wow, I know the fans, they must really be excited. They're going to go out and get that. Is there a special name to look out for that? It's just a Tifa Sound is Genius. We pretty much wrapped it up it's like it's like a lot of different things i could ask or want to ask but i think this is this is cool for now this is definitely the exclusive in new york city how are you enjoying the food how are you enjoying miss lily no it's good like i love miss lily's i know i'm one of the part owners of miss lily's so I'm, I'm usually here all the time like my friend max Lays, he, he's always here whatever so i love the food yeah yeah well, we can't wait to check out the video. We're going to tune into Back It Up, you know what I'm saying? And, and definitely look out for more vibes and bigger, you know, just she's just climbing up in her career, big things. So, you know, definitely you want to leave the fans with anything and with your contact, or website, any new social media. What's up? So, here goes. www.tiffasworld.com has the links to my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram, all of my booking information, all of my label information, all my songs, all my videos. But 
right across the board twitter instagram facebook it's at it's the tifa it's the tifa don't go to tifa music anymore that page was hacked for twitter so it's at i-t-s-t-h-e-t-i-f-a it's the tifa well you heard it first i mean thanks for sitting down thanks for sitting down with us carrot spotlight tv you know and um we just look forward to to what's coming what's ahead you know so congratulations again and i definitely i'm gonna be supporting get the headphones and all of that so you know that's it more wine sweet like a moscato i'm baba baba like a champagne when me bend over yeah i roll over man afro ball out my name yep you don't know it's a ifa it's tifa representative at carb spotlight tv don't move i must don't even blink i'm out <laughs> Any man left this get Thai Thai like goats When you think a joke Ask your friend Who never know, now you know Me a whining professional Wine I'm a possession Can't take any man, any man Wish them, could I get it? Me ex them, bugger them I reminisce to me But it up become a fat and my plumper Make a catch and them a cock up my bumper Show you the one when the man come back for Like it depends on the dick Show a gal off your wine Make a gal feel sick Show, show your mother